Hey everyone, you see it down there below, this is a post 4th of July package opening, that's right. Now this package um, that you see here was originally supposed to come uh, according to the estimated delivery date by Amazon, it was supposed to come two days later. In other words, the day I w I'm going to be going to see, I'm going, I have a dentist appointment. So anyway, it came today. Well, today being yesterday, what time is it? I, it is, huh, eight minutes after midnight. So I guess it's July 6th now, but anyway. To, basically, when I got this yesterday, today, whatever, basically two days early. Now what is it? Well, as you probably noticed, you probably saw my uh, video I did about my recent figures I've picked up, my new uh, recent figures I've picked up video. I recently obtained her at GameStop. This is Captain Marvel, uh, Miss Marvel, and I had her in my Amazon queue. So I was thinking, well, I could take her off the list because I found her at my, I found her at GameStop. But the thing is, who else could I get? Well, one of the figures I didn't even know was being sold at my job and unfortunately according to the customer that purchased it it was the only one there so I looked and looked for a while I looked and looked well not for a while but I looked and looked after that couldn't find it so I you know so I don't know if it'll be back in knowing my luck I'll go back into work uh, today tomorrow whatever and it's going to be there be my luck but anyway I figured, you know what, I'm not going to take any chances just in case it's not. I'm going to get it. Sorry about that, I thought I heard something. said I'm going to get it and even though it costs maybe fifteen dollars more because according to some people it's rare to get and you'd be lucky if you find it you know it, it's worth it in the end I also got another one that kinda relates to this character in a sense and comes from a certain web slinger uh, portion of the series so Hold on for a sec. Sorry about that. That hurt something. Well, like I said, comes from a certain web singers portion of what's known as the Marvel Infinite series. So, what are they? And what is the one? that's kind of rare that I could have paid 20 for but can't find at my job or even 22 for but couldn't find at GameStop well they're in here so let's see what they are and this is from Amazon Fulfillment Center this is via OnTrack.com Actually, I should say one is related via Avengers, the other is related to the Web Slinger, but both connect now thanks to uh, uh, Captain America Civil War. So which is the first one? Well, the first one, I guess, will kind of give us an idea of what she'll look like when the sequel comes out in a few years. But the one I got here... Well, you can't have an Ant-Man without a Wasp. That's right, I got Wasp here. This is Wasp. Um, Janet Van Dyne. And according to uh, uh, 
uh, a lot of sites in the second at, when they do the sequel to Ant-Man called Ant-Man and Wasp it's already been hinted at in the movie she will be getting her suit so it's going to be really interesting to see uh, but yeah here's uh, Wasp as you can see nicely detailed and I guess kind of gives you an idea of what she may look like when she puts on that costume uh, that we saw in the movie so here's Janet uh, Wasp if you will and again she's related in connection with the web slinger via Avengers courtesy of Captain America Civil War that came out so there she is and all part of it and basically the one gimmick about all these infinite figures is they're all part of a build a figure line and the build a figure that she's related to is Ultron so there's Wasp right there very nice to have her and then the next one is like I said the one that originally would go for either 19 1999 or 20 $22.99 depending on where you would get it. I ended up getting it for $15 more than what I would pay at my job. Probably about $13 more than what you would pay at another $12 more than what you would pay at a GameStop. And the character I got was Spider Gwen. And unfortunately it's a little dented, but yes I did get Spider Gwen. And the other one that they have here is the Ben w Riley Spider-Man that you can also get. And the builder figure that's on here is Absorbing Man. So, yeah. So we have Spider-Gwen. And a lot of people I've read on Amazon have been asking why is it so much. And like I said, if you can find it, for sale at a Walmart or a Target or a GameStop or a Toys R Us, it shouldn't cost you more than basically rounding it out about twenty to twenty-three dollars. It shouldn't really cost you that much, mostly around twenty bucks. Uh, the reason GameStop places like GameStop might put it three dollars higher is because it's a video game place, but it's also a video game novelty place. So, but anyway. It shouldn't cost you more than, depending on where you get it, between $20, maybe $23. But, yeah, the reason it cost me $15 more to get through Amazon was due to the fact that, as some people have said, it's a very, a, a very rare figure. I mean, basically, it's rare because this is a very popular character. I mean, we all know Gwen has been popular before. Gwen's been around since, was around in the 70s, early 80s, what have you. But when Marvel decided to uh, bring her back and uh, make her the way she is, or make her the way she is now, you know, it really got people excited. And this is all part of the Spider-Verse, uh, as it says right there, the edge of the Spider-Verse. It's all part of that. Because she's basically, according to, if you, I, th I think she may have been in the Spider-Man, the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon already. I think she may have been or the planning to get her there soon. But she's been in that Spider-Verse event in the Spider-Man comics, and that's how her title was launched. And basically because of that, she's become very popular, and she's become the first, fem well, not the first, but she's become one of the first truly, um, truly fan-favorite Spider-Man female spider characters out there and usually you have spider girl which is a very popular character can't take that away uh, you have silk you know but spider gwen this is the first time a female a main female protagonist has ever donned the spider-man outfit someone from spider-man's world their life we're not and you know we're talking about female protagonists like mary jane and you know Felicia Hardy and all that. This is Gwen Stacy, his first real love interest that they had so many plans for back in the 70s and 80s before killing her off that 
has donned a Spider-Man-like outfit, and that is why she's become so popular, and if not so iconic in a short time, because of the fact that this is an iconic character now being portrayed as a Spider-Man-related character, uh, with a character that basically follows in the same footsteps that Peter does in her universe, but instead of calling, her spider, calling herself Spider-Man, she calls herself Spider-Gwen. That's what it is. She's Spider-Gwen. So, anyway, that's basically why she's very popular. Basically, she based, basically, she's a different alternate universe take on a character that became very popular, has developed a cult following in past few decades, in several decades, that put, making her the first iconic female protagonist out of the Spider-Man universe and franchise to be a Spider-Man-like character herself is saying something. So, you know, that is why, I guess in a sense, um, she's very popular. I mean, she's part of this, of this Marvel's Legends series, uh, Infinite, uh, Marvel's Legends Infinite series, and again, it's what makes her very, very popular, uh, in a sense. So, anyway, just really nice to have these finally, especially the Spider-Gwen, and cannot wait and see what they have in store next. I understand that within the next few months they'll be re releasing some X-Men figures, mostly like Dark Phoenix and Rogue, and I'm going to get my hands on those. So definitely looking forward to that. But anyway, that's about it for this um, package opening, this post-4th of July package opening. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. I'm out.